today bring the souls who especially venerate and glorify my mercy and immerse them in my mercy. It's interesting that there are more days when we are bringing people who are not separated, not sinners, but who are on the right place, but only they need still more graces and grow in holiness. But we have clearly pointed the main things which decided that the people broken away from the church. Today bring to me the souls who especially venerate. That is again, they are so close to the meek and humble and the little children. Most merciful Jesus, whose heart is love itself, receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who particularly extol and venerate the greatness of your mercy. These souls are mighty with the very power of God himself. So they are put very, very high. In the midst of all afflictions and adversities, they go forward. They never are discouraged. They go ahead. In spite of the difficulties, afflictions, that's why they finally are giving frequently their lives on the altar of martyrdom. In the midst of the afflictions and adversities, they go forward confident of your mercy and united to you. O Jesus, they carry all mankind on their shoulders. So imagine how beautiful this sentence, that they are the ones which are carrying on their shoulders all the things and never look backwards to get out of it. O Jesus, they carry all mankind on their shoulders. These souls will not be judged severely, but your mercy will embrace them as they depart from this life. So they have very secure place. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls who glorify and venerate your greatest attribute. Oh, you see, the greatest attribute of your fathomless mercy. That's why I was saying about the greatest attribute. That these people from this group, they are always seeing clear where the power exists. And not only that they take for them, but they glorify. They take it as something putting upwards and enriching themselves and others constantly. These souls are living gospel. That is very great, to be living gospel. Their hands are full of deeds of mercy. That's why Jesus is saying to Sister Faustina so frequently that it is not only enough to be use the mercy for yourself, but to be also merciful. It means to show merciful deeds to others. And this group is in this area. Their hands are full of deeds of mercy and their hearts overflowing with joy sing a canticle of mercy to you, O Most High. I beg you, O God, show them your mercy according to the hope and trust they have placed in you. Let there be accomplished in them the promise of Jesus, who said to them that during this life, but especially at the hour of death, the souls who live will venerate this fathomless mercy of his. He himself will defend as glory. So those who are trying not only to accept the mercy, but they are filling themselves with the mercy and also giving to others then they, they are going to be specially honored that the Lord himself is going to defend them as his glory. It means that those people is glory for the Lord, glory for God. And they are going to be specially honored by the fact that they have the protection already safe by Jesus himself at the hour of death. He is going to lift them up 